So we are told that in times of trouble, in times of issues, in times of true um, problems as faith believers, as people of faith, that we should fast and pray. But the thing is, fasting and prayer is an internal thing. It is not to change the manifestations or the um, rules of things that are going on externally. Fasting and prayer is not about getting a breakthrough. Fasting and prayer is not about um, a healing, unless it's in your own body. Fasting and prayer is not about um, removing demonic forces in your life. Fasting and prayer is not about someone getting a revelation about someone else outside of you, getting a revelation about something that's an issue or a problem or them getting better in their life. Fasting and prayer is not about your finances getting better, about your promotion that you want, about um, getting the proposal that's been delayed or you feel like has been a delayed. That's not what fasting and prayer was for. Now there was a man in the Bible who was um, concerned because his son had demonic spirits that were possessing him, tossing him around and causing him to get hurt and, and things of that nature. He went to the disciples and he asked for them to cast the demon out, but the disciples couldn't do it. So then he went to Jesus and he said, I've gone to your disciples, to your students. They couldn't do anything. Could you please help me? My son is going through all this torment. Before Jesus even approached the situation and corrected what was going on and cast the demon out, he um, made some comments to his disciples about them having little faith. And then later they asked, um, well, why couldn't we cast him out? And it all depends on which version you read, what order things happen. But they asked him later, well, um, why couldn't we cast him out? You know, we basically said the same thing you said. You told us that we could do these things. I think they were probably motivated like, what, what did you do wrong? And why we can't do what you told us we could do? <laughs> Knowing how humans are, just saying. It takes us a minute before we become accountable and responsible for our own actions in a situation, you know? So Jesus told him that there are some things that can only be done through fasting and prayer. Now, when he said that, a lot of us take it out of context and we feel like, oh, that means that there are some prayers that require us to fast first before, and, you know, God will do it and it will be a a done situation, a completed situation. But if you read the complete version of what he said, it's when he went into more detail about the fact that they lacked in faith and that there are some things that can only be done in fasting and prayer. What I believe he was explaining to us was building of our faith can only be done through fasting and prayer. When Esther asked the children of Israel or, you know, all the Jews, basically, not the ones in the desert, but just all the Jews that were uh, in Persia and about to be executed, according to um, Haman's law, when she asked them all to fast with her, seek God for how she should do things, what she should do. If she was going to go before the king and the king going before the king without an invitation meant death. That's the way the law was was written. Now, she needed guidance. She needed to know what God wanted her to do in the situation. She needed her steps ordered through the word. She didn't need for Haman to, you know, jump up and say, I changed my mind. I've, I've decided I don't want this law. She didn't need the king to just immediately know that something bad was happening and, and fix it. She needed to know and hear clearly from the Lord what it is he wanted her to do.
because fasting and prayer works internally. It does not work for the external. It works for us. So when we're seeking a financial breakthrough, when we're seeking a healing in our own body, when we're seeking a situational things to change, we go and fast in prayer, fasting and prayer, so that our internal situation is altered and refocused onto God's words and his voice. So then we can hear him clearly what he's already been trying to say to us, what he's already implanted to us, what the Holy Spirit is already guiding us to do, that all the other noises, external and internal noises, were blurring us from seeing before. Healing is something that's already promised to us and given to us. But to receive that healing, God is very specific and individual for the person. So again, we fast and pray for our specific healing so that we can do something internal for an external manifestation. The fasting and prayer itself is not what changes the external manifestation. It's what changes us.